Russian officials are investigating the cause of a booster rocket problem that forced a Soyuz spacecraft to make an emergency landing shortly after launch. The two crew members, a Russian cosmonaut and an American, are said to be in a good condition. They were heading for a six-month mission on the International Space Station when their flight was aborted. The Director General of the European Space Agency says although a full investigation will be made, he is confident the safety measures of the launcher are satisfactory. Right now we depend 100% on the transport uh, by the Russians through Soyuz and, we have, and they have a very good record with this launcher and one has to say that even today this was a safe system because the rescue worked. So the safety measures of this space of this launcher are very good, and uh, the two astronauts are well. They are in good shape. So therefore, I think uh, we should investigate the case and as soon as possible fly again. Well, I'm joined now by space journalist and author Sarah Crudders. Thank you for coming in and speaking to us. Um, to start off with, can you explain why? this malfunctioned. What went wrong? Do they know yet? We don't know what went wrong yet. What we know is it's to do with the boosters. So you have the first stage of the Soyuz rocket. That gets you above most of the air. It does the big heavy lifting. Then the boosters, well, the name gives it away, really. They boost you into orbit and get you into space. And, and we think, well, we know at that point where the boosters actually fired, there was a major malfunction and there was an abort. We don't know yet whether the abort was actually caused by the mission control down on the ground in Roscomos or whether it was an automatic abort. But actually, I think this is a positive news story today because the last time we had a major malfunction of this type during launch was the Challenger disaster back in 1986. Instead, what we've seen today is that the escape systems work. The Soyuz rocket is hugely reliable. Yes, it was a ballistic re-entry, which means they almost dropped like a stone instead of skimming back to Earth, but the parachutes still slow them down. Um, so it wasn't particularly pleasant for the astronauts, but it's a good news story because the safety systems have worked. I mean, it must have been totally petrifying. I mean, they would not have known how it was going to end for them. They just must have thought that the worst could have been about to happen. I absolutely disagree, actually, because actually astronauts train and train and train. And I think if you or I or anyone else was <laughs> yeah, going to space, it would be petrifying. But these people are more likely to be frustrated that they haven't gone to space than that this has happened because they've trained for every possible scenario. And that's why when you get situations like that and you look at the video footage and it's terrifying, and then two humans walked away from that. And I think that's testament to the fact that even though machines fail and things do go wrong, we're able to walk away and to save two astronauts' lives today. So they won't be able to go to the International Space Station. What other repercussions will there be? Well, we don't know just yet because when a rocket fails, it's never going to be something simple. So an investigation is beginning now. But at the moment, the only way humans can get to the International Space Station is via the Soyuz rocket. Obviously, America stopped launching back in July 2011. The commercial crew, the commercial launch vehicles of SpaceX and Boeing, they haven't come into play yet. And China, which launches humans, doesn't work within the International Space Station. So we could see the crew on the International Space Station spending a lot, lot longer in space because if they return to Earth, then we're going to see a situation where the International Space Station is uncrewed and we don't really want to see that. And so that's the, what, the point. The ones who are there, how long can they stay there? Well, is it as long as they get resupplies, because it, it's not all spaceships can't go there. Uncrewed missions can still fly to the International Space Station. They have a lot of food. They have a lot of provisions. Again, this crew would have trained for a situation just like this. The crew on board the International Space Station will be working with the authorities to work out what to do next. But at the moment, everybody's safe. OK. So a good news story, Sarah Cutters. Yes. Thank you very much indeed for speaking to us this evening. Now, employers could be...